AITA for asking my co-worker what would happen if I drank her breast milk. I am not the original poster. That is you, Dizzy Box 6519. She posted in R, am I the asshole? Mood spoiler. Happy ending. Less than. Original post. October 13th, 2023. My. 20th. Co-worker Kate had a baby a little while ago. And in the break room during lunch yesterday she was talking about breastfeeding. During the conversation I asked Kate. Hey. So what would happen if I were to drink your breast milk? Quote. Kate said. Excuse me? Quote. I did realize that it sounded like a weird question when you didn't hear the train of thought. Leading up to it. So I tried to explain myself and said. I mean is it okay because your baby is related to you? But I'd get sick because I don't have your same bacteria? Quote. Kate didn't answer me. But our other co-worker Lauren then said. Well. It can't be that that's how it works because then wet nurses wouldn't have been a thing. I've never heard of a wet nurse and asked Lauren. What's that? Quote. Lauren said. It's when you hire a nanny who had a baby at the same time as you so that she can also breastfeed. Your baby for you. But it's like an old timey thing. So at this point Kate said. You guys are being D, C, K, S, and left. I found out today that she's telling people that me and Lauren were making fun of her about breastfeeding. So I do understand why Kate would have been uncomfortable with the first way I asked the question. Because yes that was kind of a stupid way to say it. But I don't really understand how she thinks I was making fun of her at all after that. AITA? Relevant comments. This top comment encapsulates the main feeling of commenters. Look some thoughts just don't need to be shared with others. You asked a gross and weird question. And I'm not entirely sure why you even thought she'd want to answer or necessarily know the answer. You seem to be trying to creep her out on purpose. Which she took as making fun of her. YTA. Next time just ask Google your weird questions. OOP's response. That wasn't my intention at all. But this explanation does at least make sense to me so thank you. You need to apologize. I am going to apologize to her later today. I was just confused because I didn't understand why she thought I was making fun of her. But now I get it. People advise her not to bring up her neurodiversity in her apology. Oop was asked if she was neurodivergent and divulged that she has ADHD. So this is in response to that. I don't even think I'll say anything about social difficulties. I'm just going to tell her that I realize now it was an inappropriate question to ask and that I apologize if it came off like I was trying to make her uncomfortable or tease her because that wasn't my intention and I'm sorry. Oop is voted YTA. Update post. October 16th, 2023. Three days later. So first I guess I need to explain a couple of things that people missed in my first post. Mainly that I am 20, F even though most people were for some reason assuming that I was a guy. And also like I said in the post. I understood in the first place that I worded my initial question to Kate badly. The thing that I didn't understand was how it seemed like I was making fun of Kate. I do understand now after people explained and after what Kate said when I did talk to her about it. That it was because it just didn't seem like a question that anyone would ask seriously. So on Friday afternoon I went to Kate and told her. Hey. I wanted to say sorry about yesterday. I get now that I asked a really inappropriate question and I'm sorry for making you uncomfortable. And I understand that you felt like I was making fun of you. But that wasn't my intention and I'm sorry it came out sounding that way. Kate said. Okay. Hold on. You were really just trying to ask about the germs in milk or whatever it was. Quote. I said. Yeah. I know it sounded bad but I swear that's all I meant. Kate said. Well. If it was a genuine question then I'm sorry also. I shouldn't have assumed ill intent. I said. It's okay. Like I said, 
I am sorry. Kate said. Don't worry about it. And then that was the end of the conversation and everything seemed fine. Relevant comments. Oop. I'll probably never ask another question in my life after this. People ask about the third co-worker who was trying to provide historical context. I'm not sure but I think probably she already talked to Kate about it if she cared in the first place. I didn't work Saturday this week but I know she did so if someone also told her what was going on I think she probably would have just said something right then. This interaction. Commenter. Uh. I missed the explanation because everyone was focused on the initial question. How was it making fun of her? Because I was just as lost as you on that part? Oop. How I understand it is that it's because it was such a weird question that it sounded like I wasn't asking it to be serious. And sometimes people pretend to be just asking a question as an excuse to make people uncomfortable during a conversation. And then I guess Lauren should have told me to stop bothering Kate instead of answering the question. Because then it seemed like she was just keeping a joke going. Commenter. Oh. Geez. Wow. That explanation never would have occurred to me. It makes sense in retrospect. It's just. So far beyond anything I would think of doing. Oop. Same here. I didn't understand that at all. I guess I do remember people in school to be bullies would pretend to want to know what music you listen to or whatever so I guess I have seen it happen but I wouldn't have connected this to that. Yikes. As someone with ADHD and on the autism spectrum I can relate to OOP on some level. Sometimes your brain just comes up with the weirdest questions that you think are okay to ask only to later on realize were rude or just plain old weird. It's why Google and even Reddit became my go-to to figure things out. Social cues can be weird. Thankfully I never asked a breastfeeding woman what would happen if I drank her milk. Honestly I think Oop would have done better if she just said, what would happen if an adult drinks breast milk? Oop saying I definitely did not help. Even I winced when she asked that. Honestly, regardless of the Google ability of the specific question, I feel like, don't ask your co-workers about their bodily fluids, is a pretty good rule. I'll probably never ask another question again. Lol I can relate a little too much to this statement. I'm a med student. So honestly something, weird, like this would be a brunch discussion for me and my classmates. Thank you for the reminder that the average human probably wouldn't appreciate it. Also, breastfeeding women have super crazy hormones. I cried about everything and anything when I was breastfeeding. And I can totally see how the coworker could have thought this was a weird bullying thing. It can indeed make you a bit sensitive. Tread lightly with women in the newly postpartum phase. They're often sleep deprived and their moods can be all over the place. Wait. Hang on. Op spoke to the person they had conflict with. Person responded with empathy and apologized and they got on with their lives? There is hope for humanity. Love it. I'll probably never ask another question in my life after this. Oh. Sweet baby summer child. As a 41-yo high-spectrum ADHD neurodiverse individual still coming to terms how uncomfortable I can make people though I was diagnosed at 12. That's not happening. I'm just thankful for the times people let me know I was not appropriate and let me apologize or understand. Most just dislike me from afar and pretend everything is fine to my face. C. I read the op and thought about the time I had the exact same question after a coworker had her baby. The difference being I googled IT instead of asking her while at work. NGL this is a perfect example of how something might sound perfectly reasonable to a neurodivergent person but sound gross, offensive, mocking to a neurotypical person. 
I remember getting chewed out on this because I commented that this is a Google question. Sigh. It's still a Google question. I think people are also forgetting that this didn't happen in a vacuum. People can get really creepy around pregnant women and breastfeeding. Some people can be gross and sexualize it. Even women. So it's also important to remember that the context of the question happened in a world where co-worker might have been on the receiving end of more weirdness. It's always good to try recognize if there's any vulnerability involved. It all end well and co-worker now knows there's people who are just clueless as opposed to gross and that sexual education is sadly lacking lol. Communication for the win. Kate has probably been given a hard time for breastfeeding to the point that even an innocent question is mistaken for being insulting. People give breastfeeding mothers a hard time so it's hard to know who is being genuine. I'm glad both Oop and Kate were able to sort out the misunderstanding. I kind of get both their point of view. As a breastfeeding mom this question wouldn't have fazed me at all. I'd have answered it and asked if they had other questions. But I'm a microbiologist so that may alter my perspective. This is why we need better sex education and health classes that actually educate instead of use. Scare tactics. This is the type of question I would expect someone way younger to blurt out and ask than 20. What an odd situation. While I've never been in one in similar context, there have been many a time where I didn't understand the tone of a convo and honestly it makes things so much easier to just ask. We're all human and there are times where we won't understand each other. It shows the other person you genuinely do not know if they were serious or joking and gives the person the chance to let you know so that you can react with a better understanding of their intention. If I was asked this, I would feel like a cow. How humiliating for that poor woman. Oh hey I got quoted in a BORU. Maybe I'm on the spectrum. I've never tested, but I completely took that first question at face value and only saw it as a question. I would never have construed it as making fun of someone. Though I do wonder if it's actually a neurodivergence issue or if it's just changing generational societal norms. Because I've never heard of this either. Sometimes people pretend to be just asking a question as an excuse to make people uncomfortable. During a conversation, a simple Ask Jeeves search would have avoided all this trouble but Oop needed this lesson to refine her social cues. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.